Hey my TTs, welcome back to the channel. So as you guys know, today is April Fool's Day and I can't lie, a lot of celebrities and influencers got me and a lot of other people today. Ha! <laughs> got <he. laughs> Got so we're gonna talk about some pranks that really got us good today and at the ending of this video some things more serious that weren't so funny anyways let's start this thing off with mr ddg so ddg posted to his instagram a uh, ultrasound and then he said been low-key about this for a minute my baby boy finna pop soon daddy can't wait to meet you i'm a dad so ddg was the first person to definitely have us fooled thinking that him and ruby Ruby Rose were about to have a baby but sooner than later a lot of us figured that it was April Fool's Day and that this was a big joke so good one DDG <laughs> Anyways, moving on to another pregnancy prank, and this one was by Ty Taylor from the Taylor Girls. She posted a picture onto her Instagram of her belly looking pretty big, and she said, staying out the way and stacking up for you. I don't know why everyone loves to do pregnancy pranks on April the 1st, but her sister commented on her post and said, girl, forget you, because she knew it was a prank, but she definitely could have fooled us with her belly looking that big. I don't know if she was bloated or just sticking her belly out like that, but good one, Ty Taylor. <laughs> Anyways, last but not least out of the pranks and this one is a little confusing because we don't know if it's a prank or not and what I'm talking about is 6 ix girlfriend Jade. She posted a picture to her Instagram with the caption single and spelled it out S-I-N-G-L-E. Now of course a lot of people felt like this was a prank because her and 6 9 have been together for so long and plus out of all days for her to post that she's single why? Why would she choose April the 1st? Well, what made a lot of us take this a little more seriously is that in the picture, you can clearly see how the tattoo that she had, a 6'9's face that was on her chest, she got covered up by something else. And it looks pretty real. It doesn't look photoshopped or anything. So I'm guessing that maybe these two really broke up and that she's really single. But we'll have to see after April the 1st if she is. I think it's really coincidental that she posted it on April the 1st but just like I said we'll see what happens after April Fool's Day if she really is single or not anyways last but not least let's talk about Miss Koyla Ray now we all know Koyla Ray she's a female artist she's a rapper slash singer she's been Zeno's daughter of course and her music and her image has just been going crazy as of lately now recently Koyla Ray posted a video onto her Instagram of her twerking and a lot of people started to bash her because of her body size. Now, of course, Corla Ray has responded to people body shaming her and calling her too skinny and saying all type of mean things about her and her body. She posted to her Twitter and said, a couple of y'all don't like how comfortable I am in my skin. So weird. If you're insecure, just say that. A couple of y'all be like, I love myself. No, you actually don't. And I completely agree with her. Anybody commenting about her body size must must not like or feel comfortable in their own skin or like their body size because they wouldn't be worried about her body size. It's very normal for a person her age to be of her weight capacity and this is something that I haven't talked about on my channel but I'll talk about it today just because I feel like people are getting too caught up into these Instagram influencers where they feel like everybody needs to get their body done, everybody needs to look like an hour 
hourglass. There's nothing cute or good about your natural body. You have to get something done to look, you know, Instagrammable or good for Instagram. And that's just not the case. It's okay to be comfortable in your skin, comfortable with your weight size, whatever weight size you are. Work with what you have. And if you want to get more in the future, if you want to do it, if it's something you're interested in and you're not trying to copy off of someone else or copy off of an uh, influencer i mean do there's that there's nothing wrong with trying to enhance your looks but it's something wrong with it when you're trying to copy off of or be like someone else and i just wanted to talk about or touch on this topic because i seen somebody post a tweet talking about how a lot of celebrities like lizzo megan the stallion and now coila ray get a lot of body shaming for them just being their natural selves megan the stallion she's an artist who's her natural self she has her natural body and then people like to say that oh they feel like she's too tall and lizzo is her natural self and people feel like oh she is too big she should do something about it and coila ray people feel like oh she's too skinny she needs to gain weight so this just goes to show you can never satisfy or please everyone especially when you're a celebrity or influencer there's always going to be some stuff that people are going to say to try to bring you down all the way down to your body size so it's important to have self-confidence in whatever you do even if you're not a celebrity or influencer make sure you love who you are but you guys let me know what you feel about these pranks in this situation in the comments below i would love to hear your comments once again my lovely tt Thank you for watching Tease Room. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time I upload. Like I said in my last video, I will have a giveaway coming pretty soon. So make sure you stay tuned. Anyways, like I said, make sure you comment and I will see you, my lovely TTs, in the next video.